In this question, and in any question about standard deviation, the key is dispersion. In mathematical terms, the quantity called dispersion is the square of the standard deviation. But more to the point, the standard deviation is a measure of dispersion of points. For that reason, we generally have to know all the values in a set to calculate the set's standard deviation. But we can also check more conceptually whether we are getting the full measure of the dispersion of the set of points. Finally, we can attempt to apply the precise formula for standard deviation if that is required, but we'll naturally avoid that if we can. Okay, let's move on to the data statements, evaluating them separately first. Statement 1 tells us what the points are dispersed around, but not how dispersed they are. Everyone's value could be 6, and there would be no standard deviation at all. The standard deviation would be 0, or the points could vary widely. Both cases are permitted by Statement 1, and they yield different standard deviations, different answers to the question. So Statement 1 is insufficient to answer the question definitively. Statement 2 gives us dispersion information. It says that there is no dispersion. We don't know around what point the dispersion, or non-dispersion in this case, is centered, but standard deviation doesn't measure that. So in fact, the standard deviation must be zero. Therefore, statement 2 is sufficient. When we first glanced at the data statements, we might have been tempted by a together answer. But fortunately, we were careful to evaluate the choices separately first. The correct answer is B.